Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I'm doing great. So guys, I was looking at the front of our base here, and this is like, I really consider this like an entrance to the base right here. I was considering doing something with like this little field right here. Uh, I'm not um, too sure what I want to do with it yet. I was thinking maybe just like a little nice kind of like clean looking oasis. Maybe we try to build our own biome. That could be really fun um, because I would probably limit it to like probably right around here because this thing is pretty big. Uh, we would put like a nice little fence in and then just have it reach to the borders, I think. And then have a couple different pathways leading off to a couple different places. Um, another thing that I want to do today is I actually want to put an elytra launcher into the base somewhere. I'm thinking probably somewhere up here uh it would be kind of cool to like maybe have like a little cliff right here or something that walks into that maybe there or ooh, even right there is good too because it's really flat right there see the problem with the elijah launcher is that it needs a little bit of space out front maybe we even hide it in the ground right here could work maybe uh we walk in like go in over here and it like lands us on top and then we walk forward and then just go flying out of a hole right there not too bad of an idea. I guess the only problem is, is that we would need space underneath of here. I wonder if there's anything down here. It seems like it's pretty clear. Okay, we might be able to definitely hide um, a launcher down here then. Fantastic. That might be what I do. Um, the only problem is, is we've got to kind of worry about that right there. But I think it sends it like, I think it sends us either. And I don't think it sends us straight up. Well, I guess if we were to come out right here, I might have to do a little bit of terraforming on that top part up there. But other than that, I uh, I want to kind of start working in this this area more because we have we have kind of neglected this area. The last project we did was the uh, carrot farm. Yo, I have a lot of gold and iron over here. Holy crap, dude! <laughs> okay, this oh that's right, this was my golden carrot farm. All right, um, another thing I'm thinking about doing. Uh, one of the projects is I'm thinking about making one of the XP farms in the nether. Um, because not only will it give us the goods that we need uh, for gold-wise, it'll give us lots of XP. The problem is, is that I'm not trying to, like, ender pearl through, like, you know, through the bedrock every single time. There's got to be, a, like, a way to, be to break bedrock or something, you know? Um... And I know that there was the way that Mumbo made, and that was like really obnoxious looking. I don't want to have to like I'm I'm just being lazy. I just don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so lots of lots of stuff planned on the docket today. Uh, I think we're gonna work on the launcher first, which means I'm going to need to look and see if the launcher that I was using is still available. If not, I'll need to find another one. Um, and I've got to collect a bunch of wood, so I'm gonna go. Um, Probably down, probably about a thousand, not a thousand, probably 500 blocks straight forward. And there is a birch biome there, and I'm going to get me some wood. So I will be back in just a moment. Okay, guys, we are back at, over at the, back at, over at the, I know how to talk. Woo, good team, good talk. I'm back at the base. Um, went and collected some wood, got some stone brick, things like that. And it's nighttime, so we need to slap as well. There we go. All right, so we are going to build our perimeter out here. Kind of like just a little courtyard, I think. Uh, first thing I've got to do is I've got to get rid of these acacia trees. These things are terrible looking. Eventually, we will put other other trees in here. Um, but acacia is just not fit for what I want to do with this area. It looks so bad. There we go. Okay, now, you know, wow, you know what, that, let me get rid of this one, and then we'll start. I don't want to waste too much time. There we go. One more. <clears throat> Excuse me, I apologize. All right, there we go, so we'll let those decay. So, I need to kind of figure out where I want to start this. I'm thinking probably somewhere like right here. 
Um, let me go ahead and get rid of all this real fast. We can, uh, we've got the bricks and stuff to fill this in. Man, my game feels really laggy today. Um, video settings. Is it this one? N oh, no, that's, I want that one on. I want V-Sync. Uh, I don't know if that's what I want or not. Either way, the game, I don't know. It seems like the more that I play this world, the more that it just, like, it kind of gets worse and worse, to be honest with you. Like, <clears throat> like, it's getting really, really hard to play. And, I mean, as you can see, my frames are at 30, you know, there's they're solid 30, but at the same time, it, like, it really just doesn't feel like it. There we go. Turn that off. Alright, so I went and got a bunch of wood so I can make some fences. Um, let's see, so we need to put pillars in. And so if we're going to come off of the side of this right here, I'm thinking maybe five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Something like that, possibly. Yeah, that should work pretty good. One... Two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay. Um, and then I think I I eventually want to curve this. I'm not sure that I really want to go down any further. Um, you know what? Let's take it. Let's kind of uh, angle it. I think. Now these angles are going to be a little bit harder to do. One, two, three, four. See, as you can see, they look a lot bigger. Five would be right there. Um, I guess we could go right there. See, that doesn't look good, though. That looks more appropriate. I think we'll do three for the angles, then. Okay, there we go. Um, maybe one more. I'm just, I don't want to make this thing, like, super huge, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Three there. And then let's go straight. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. I wonder if it's my texture pack. Huh. I'm going to go back to default for a minute. That's the only thing I could think of, because I recently started using that. Uh, it seems a little better. Okay. Can't complain. Can't complain. Um. So let's see. Let's get rid of this. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We gotta be careful because we're coming up on it pretty quick. One, two, three, four, five. Now, we have got to. I highly doubt these are gonna line up, right? One, two, three, four, five. If they did, I'd probably poop my pants. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, it looks like it's one off. Uh, that's fine. We can we can definitely move this over one. Okay, so we will have the perimeter set up uh, pretty easily. There we go. So we'll put those there. And um, we should probably try to make them all the same height too, I think. So those will all go there. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. I had a dream, guys, that I sold my leg. <laughs> it's crazy, right? I know. Crazy. I don't know why I sold it either. Like, I just thought it was a good idea. Like, sincerely, like, I, I legit sold my leg. <laughs> I, was, I was just like, well, I guess I could sell it to you for like 500000 like, it was no big deal. Like, I just didn't need a leg or something. You know what I'm saying? Like... Alright, so we should probably come down one there. I thought it was kind of funny, to be honest with you. Like, I'm like, just, just sell my leg for no reason. You know, no big deal. Ugh, come on, game. Stop lagging, please. 
I don't know what's going on with this world, man. It's driving me crazy. And the, the funny part about it was, is that like the, the reason I sold it was because I was in a fire, but I didn't even damage my leg. I damaged my arm in the fire. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, bro. I thought it was funny. Is that, uh, oh no, I messed that up. I don't think I want that to be that high anyways. All right, so something like that, I think. We're gonna have to figure out a way to connect these together. I don't think that's gonna work. Let's try diagonals. One, two, three. So there. And one, two, three. And there. How far off is that? That's only, what, one block off? You know what? That'll work. And we'll just have to get rid of the, that little part of the mountain right there. All right. So our perimeter is pretty much set. Um, besides the massive amounts of lag, it's really, it's really kind of getting under my skin. Like it's hard to play like this. Um, make those into sticks. I forget how to make fences, to be honest with you. They always change the recipes on you. Is that it? Yeah, that's it right there. Let's grab some slabs. So I think what I'm going to do is fill this all in because this is going to be like initially I was going to leave pathways out. But I think what I'm going to do now is. Uh, actually, I think I might go. Let's put one here. Might go above that one block, I think like that right there. I can't even place blocks down correctly because it's like so choppy feeling. It's really bad. Oh my God, it turned out way better than I expected it to. Uh, I need to make sure that people can't get in here first, but yeah, it turned out so good looking. I just love how it looks, like how it's like different levels. It fits it. It fits this area perfect, like really good. Um, One last thing that I do want to do before we start putting anything in here is I want to terraform this land right here really quickly. Which shouldn't take us very long. Um, other than that, though, uh, we're going to put an entrance right here. Um, over here. Like, probably... Probably when we come down the steps right here. Yay for lag. It's still lagging so bad, guys. Uh, it's driving me nuts, man. Cover that up. Do I have any dirt in here? Eh, I have a little bit of dirt. Hmm. There's gotta be a reason why it's lagging, I just don't know. I can't even hit this guy, like, correctly. It's lagging so bad. There we go. Anyways, like I said, I wanted to terraform this up here. Uh, essentially, I just don't want this to look, like, so straight. So we'll have, like, a block here, here, here. And then... Uh, I'm actually gonna break these with my hands, I think. I just don't trust it. There we go. So then something like that. And then this next one can come out a little bit further. Like right there, right there. And then connect these together. There we go. That's much better looking, actually. I like that a lot better. All right, now over here, we just want to put dirt in here. There we go. Okay, now that we've got that in there, uh, let's see. I would probably want to put a pathway in. Ooh, the water is kind of right there, isn't it? Eh, not really. Let me uh, remove this real fast. Put this over here. Put you there. There we go. Okay, so... um, 
I'm thinking that the pathway will just continue to be those blocks. And basically, <clears throat> I want to make it like super plush in here. I don't have the material with me right now to do what I need to do. Um, because I think I want to make custom trees. I want to do like hanging glowstone lights. Um, things like that. And I can't really do that. I don't know if I have a oak sapling with me or not. I'm kind of curious to see what that would look like in this biome. We might have to change the leaves though, but I'm thinking like up in like these parts, like up in the corners, maybe like we have some trees here if we can grow one. Let me move that a little bit. Like probably right here. Okay. And then maybe just have trees kind of surrounding this. I'm not sure if I want to do that yet, yet or not. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think um, I should do with the outside of the fence there. So there's like, there's so many possibilities about like what we could do with this area. Uh, all right, guys. So we're over in our villager area. Um, my villagers really haven't been breeding too much. And I think, I think it's the lack of uh, bread. So I brought a bunch of wheat with me. Make sure I don't have any more. Okay, let's go ahead and make a bunch of bread here. They need something like, uh, I think it was like 30 or like 14 or 15 bread each. Maybe? I don't remember. I don't remember how much it was. Either way, lots of bread needed. Um, so you. Okay, so let's get up here and try to breed these guys and try to throw it at a way to where some of them get their all of them get their bread I suppose was that going through one of them did see I don't want to distill it through the bottom so that that might work right there I think if we distill enough in the middle it might work out because they'll start uh, picking it up like each one will take my bread are they taking it? it doesn't look like, I don't know if they're taking it or not, to be honest with you. Yeah, they all took it. Okay, so they should all... With that right there, they should be primed and ready to breed then. I um, wonder how many... Oh, so touch. Yeah. Oh, I still have 64 more in there. Hold on. Grab that. No, I want to make... I want to make absolutely sure because ever since we lost all of our villagers that time... They haven't been breeding. Matter of fact. He's still alive. Okay. Just making sure. He's the reason why everybody breeds. And if he's not alive, then that's a problem. Okay. I'm just going to feed them as much bread as I possibly can. Hopefully, hopefully that will get them breeding again. <clears throat> Okay. Now they should be throwing bread around up there. I'm going to give it just a minute. Uh, oh, these guys bread too. Man, it's never what I need though. Where are you? Oh, he's just a uh, an armorer? Yeah. Alright, let's remove this. And... Remove that. And then uh, what I think I'm going to start doing is instead of deleting villagers, I think I'm just going to start covering them up over here and hiding them in this hole. So if we ever need any, like I'll, I'll have like an extra few. Uh, one thing I need to make sure of, particles all. I have any glass. There we go. There we go. So he'll grow up in there, no problem. Those guys need to breed again. They'll do it. Now. What about you guys? I gave you a lot of bread. You need to breed. Oh, no, no, no. We're getting hearts. We're getting hearts. Okay. Okay. We're getting there. That was one hearts from one villager. I don't know about any of the other ones, though. That looked like that was two hearts for sure. So, yeah, I think it was definitely, definitely the lack of food then. they breed hard to tell oh I'm falling 
They'll eventually breed, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Either way, I think we're good to go now. Um, that guy in there will grow up. And we'll have other trades. We're getting there. Oh, no. no they're harding again. Can I get a baby villager, please? And it's exactly what I wanted. And so let me grab this. 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 There we go. Man, it's so laggy. As you can see, like I'm breaking multiple blocks at a time. Now. My new system for getting villagers. Break all that. There we go. All right, let's get him back in there. I wish there was a way you could make him grow up faster. There we go. So we got another uh, white coat. We'll wait and see to see what, what he'll come um, turn out to be. Hopefully those guys will keep breeding. These guys were breeding before, too. They're probably out of food now, though. All right, so we're starting to get a bigger collection of vill uh, villagers now. That's good. Our farm is doing very well. It's actually, I kind of want to take a look at that from just the top part of it real fast. So much sugar cane. I need to finish the other fence still, too, though. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Let's Play Minecraft. I hope you guys all enjoy the video. If you did, obviously, make sure you hit that like button. Otherwise, hope you have a great day. This is iGemin. Peace out, everybody.